Exploration Day 2. Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, and I return with more of the Threeth Pikmin. And as promised, I don't remember whether I promised out loud, but as promised between the last episode and this one, I've tried out every method of controlling the game. So what I was doing before was using the touch screen of the gamepad. There's also button controls, and there's also the Wii Remote. I'm using the Wii Remote. I apologize for nothing. Britney's signal seems to be coming from over there! Right now, meeting up with her has got to be my top priority! Having said that, I'm also quite worried by the loss of our cosmic drive key. Without it, the, the Drake can't reach a high enough speed to get us home! Oh! I, I do love how our team is just Tony Harrison, the squeaky voice teen from The Simpsons, and... I guess... I know, it's going for some sort of slutty Rouge the Bat. We'll see how Brittany turns out. Anyway, day two. Antarctica kind of mushed into Australia, I think, is what they're going for here. Other people have talked about it in greater detail than I. Also, this may be the first day that has a time limit, I'm not sure. Now, I did do a couple of tests with the Wii Remote. The controls are much more comfortable for me because I can point at the screen and whatever. It will still take me a while to get used to the controls, though. Brittany should be around here somewhere, right? Running out of food, so I'd better find her before it's too late. Bwah. Oh, the onion. It looks like the onion has followed me here! Because they trust me and shit. So where are the Pikmin? They're inside the onion, you dingus. Okay, Braze. Give me all of the picks. Oh yes, because uh, I, I practiced using mission mode, so... I forgot, we have a finite number of Pikmin. Oh no. Oh, I see! That onion vessel is a Pikmin nest! No, it's an onion. Stand on an onion and press A to take out a return Pikmin. Gladly. I go to configure the copper so we can use it to check Pikmin status. Status. Status! God damn it. Once again, installing an app on the X button out of nowhere. Also, I actually have the gamepad on, like, in front of the TV, so I could check the map anywho. Okay. For the most part, it makes sense. I worked out how to lock on as well. I have no idea when it teaches you how to do that with the gamepad, if indeed at all, but that's a thing that I can do now. I have no idea where I'm going. Ah yes, bonus Pikmin. Just, it seems weird using the L button to do such things, so, you know. Help out your brethren. Break down the walls. The one thing that I will say about controlling with the Wii Remote as opposed to anything else is... It is a little bit... like, camera controls are harder. I, I will say that I'm missing a Pikmin somewhere. Unless that's like, oh, this is where we introduce you to Pikmin of whatever colour. So, I... I don't know, maybe there is just a Pikmin out in the field somewhere that I haven't accounted for. Ooh, a file! I shall file it accordingly. When Pikmin have transported all the fragments, yeah, I explained this in the previous episode. They just go back, they're, they're, they're good boys like that. Or girls, I'm not going to judge. They're good children. Okay, my friends. How goes the harvest? Ooh, an actual enemy over in the yonder place. I could... I could keep mashing the A button because I thought that was a still Berry Pikmin. Well, you there, you could die because... yeah. Those enemies seem to die upon impact if you just throw a Pikmin at it. So, that's fun. You, you, you there. Be helpful. And actually, for that matter, I keep forgetting you have to press a button to cancel the lock-on because I'm just so used to Zelda controls, okay? Right, where were we even putting these fragments? Oh, we're building a bridge. Ah, we made a bridge. Right, now that you're there, Kill the butterfly, because that's just a thing that we can do. Seems heartless, but there is a purpose to it, I think. I don't remember. I'm not a Pikmin expert. So, I'm not entirely sure what the best thing to do on this first day is. I guess just do all the obvious? <laughs> I'm trying, I promise. Right, so those shards are nearly done with. And you're just going to gather over here. Oh, we're recycling bits of plant pot to build a bridge. Oh, that's cute. I'm guessing over here is progress then, because I should be looking at the map, and I'm just not. Well, that's just pleasant. Where did I put the other friends? I should have 31. Where did I put them? It's all well and good sneaking up on them, but did I leave them somewhere irresponsible? I did. Well, as you'll get to know me over the course of this series, I am usually too cautious with this shit, so... I'm probably going to stuff all the Pikmin back into the onion before the end of the day. Now, I know that with this game in particular, you can throw Pikmin at these creatures' eyes, and that's kind of good for dispersing them because they're blinded by the attack. We protect, but we also attack. Oh good, we can hide. I'm 
glad to hear that we can do the obvious. Okay. So here's the thing. I am somewhat allured by the prospect of bum-rushing enemies because it just seems to work so well when you watch it on the internet. Like that, that just sort of happens. So, some of you could do that. Also, there's those two. And then everyone else. Why is this wall here? Oh, I don't remember what the exact quote was, but just in the previous episode, Elf being like, oh my god, a wall. Wah. Which, for those who aren't familiar with the, uh, the backstory, I once went to a place with a friend of mine, and there was a toddler who would come up to a fence, and just, like, when they reached the fence, they started crying, and so it's kind of become an internal joke. Oh no, a fence. Wah. Pluck them. Pluck them all. I know in one of the games, I want to say Pikmin 2, it seems like a Pikmin 2 thing to do. There's this thing you can get that allows you to literally whistle Pikmin out of the ground. So... No, I wanted to lock on. Don't just disperse. Well, it's too late now. You've you've wasted all of your times. Except it's not done. Break down the wall. Get on the wall. There you go. If America does do something crazy about building a wall, just send an army of Pikmin to deal with it. Obviously. Oh, she's bequeathed in petals. That's not what that means. Brittany's just lying there. I hope I'm not too late. Oh, Her head looks like a mushroom from this angle. Pick up, Brittany, pick up! Please be okay! Dot, 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 dot. Oh! Oh, it worked, yay. Oh, sorry about that. I was just taking a little nap. So, you're close by? Wowie faces. Why wasn't I moving, you ask? Hee <laughs> hee! Well, you know me. I can sleep anywhere. But never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like a huge piece of fruit. It's over there. Go and get it, slave boy. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go and check it out for me? Is that going to get annoying? Because I'm not sure that I care. Okay, so you're over there. Oh, look, it's a strawb. Wow, it's, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. It's a strawberry so big you can eat it like a hand fruit. If this really is fruit, then, then it's a major discovery. I'd like to analyze it to the drake, but but how can I move it? With the Pikmin, you dumb nugget. And my practice sessions have taught me that strawberries take three Pikmin. Or, I'm sorry, sunseed berries, but you're not supposed to know that yet. Can I wander up here? What happens if I do? This looks like danger. This looks like a dangerous place. Should I worry? I shall walk around the perimeter and hope that I don't get splattered by something appearing out of nowhere. Oh, there is an onion. It's trapped in a crystal. Oh, it's one of these. It was one of these in the practice mission that I did as well. A medusal slurker. Well, I was able to beat this thing in mission mode just by spamming Pikmin at it and I didn't lose any, so... Much as I'd like to do a, a lossless run of this game, I can't promise anything. But if I just squirzle it to death, then... Kill it before it can do unto others before they can do unto you. And that's how you get Rock Pikmin in the mission mode as well. Yay, it's all coming together. Why didn't they call them Rockmen? For fuck's sake. Are these Pikmin too? They're giving me a funny look. They're fucking boulders. She's a brick. What in the... What are they doing? Allow me to help with that. They seem friendly. And they pack a punch, because they're rocks. But yes. There, that's all of it. But yes, Rock Pikmin. Why not Rock Mint? Like, without the C. R-O-K-M-I-N. Why? Well, that would be Rock Mini. <laughs> so that onion was trapped inside that crystal. Since I have two types of Pikmin now, I can select the ones I want to use with C. With C's. This is another thing that I learned from practice. When I want to split them up by type, I'll use the Hu to dismiss the squad. Yes, the Hu, the balance stone. What do we have here? Rock Pikmin are hard. Rock hard. Umph. Yeah, you, you just land on top of that way, don't you? You just carry that back. And you're still here as well. Well, y'all aren't going to be very helpful. <laughs> Yesterday's foe is today's food. He, he says in what is basically Britney's voice, but still. But still. Oh good, the fruit got back. We're being called by the drake. What we get? Oh, there's an incoming transmission from the drake. The drake. The drake. The drake. Like an alphabet, I swear. 
ba ba da ba. Analyzing the recovered plant. Analyzing. Sunseed berry. <laughs> Delicious. It's worth an entire day of fruit. Large quantities of pictamin U detected. This is a seed bearing fruit, making cultivation on copai possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. I'll get progressively slow with every line the Drake brings me. I'll add a fruit file to the copper where I can store the results for analysis. <laughs> analysis. And one more installation from this. <laughs> Apparently, PNF404 gets good Wi Fi. Be kind of awkward if the first fruit that we got wasn't a strawberry. I don't know much about plants at all. I'll ask quickly to write the. I can't speak, she's a botanist. Talk to her, the plants like her. But. Like, if. If the icon for the fruit file was always a strawberry, it'd be awkward if we got something other than a strawberry as our first ever thing, because then. Like. The cophead would have known about a fruit that exists that we've never heard of, or something. Destroy the things, get the stuff. There we have a grey pellet posy posy pellet. Which I'm sure I'm going to turn into the next pen pineapple apple pen from the way I'm saying it. And another file! Yeah. In short, the majority... Like, the oh, the majority at least. The, um, whichever Pikmin colour has the majority when lifting an item determines which onion they'll take it back to. So, if you have a three Pikmin job, and it's two rocks and a, a red, then it'll take it to the rock ship. If it's two reds and a rock, it'll take it to the red onion. You get the idea. Or at least I hope you do. It's, it's a fairly straightforward concept. I mean, I, I'm, I'm no expert on Pikmin, and I understand it perfectly. Well, how are we only halfway through the day? Then again, I've mentioned before, I watch YouTube videos at double speed, so... I'm used to Pikmin days being half as long as this, although this would seem longer than usual because we've had cutscenes and story and stuff. Come back, friends. Be plucked. I hope that me mashing the A button isn't too loud on the microphone, because I am doing it sort of right next to the microphone, because that's just where my arms happen to be. Where are the other three? Are they the th they're, 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 Those will be the three that took the, the strawberry sunseed berry 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 back to the ship. So that's okay. And now we can destroy a wall. Look, it's on the other side of this wall! I'm gonna smash it in with rocks! Naturally, the... Rock Pikmin do more damage on impact when you throw them, rather than when they throw themselves, but that would make perfect sense. ANOTHER FILE! See, who wrote these files? Bear in mind, the implication is that the previous Pikmin expert, who shall not be named, didn't know about these Pikmin types? So... What? Stand back, Brittany. We have rocks. In case you haven't noticed, I am. I'm throwing rocks at you. Brittany. <clears throat> she reminds me of someone from Animal Crossing again, I'm not sure who. Harriet, I think. Phew. I can't tell you how happy I am to get out of this place. I'm fed up of sleeping rough, and I'm super hungry. Oh, uh, what's with your entourage there? Uh, da -da 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 -da. What's that you say? They're called Pikmin. They're so cute. But we don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, elf. It's a lemon, but we don't know that. Let's work together and nap that huge piece of mm, fruit. So yes, I'm going to throw some friends over there. And then also throw a captain over there. And then... I'll take it from here. Press minus if you'd be so kind. Or press A and then press minus. Okay, I did wonder how you switch leaders. So there you go, we can divide the labor. All of you, get up there and help that lemon. I thought it took ten, it only takes five. Even better. But of course, the more Pikmin you have on a task, the faster it will be done. To a point. That there is a limit. Well, I'm just going to play as Brittany for a while then. Although that said... Go and help the lemon. Or get stuck on a lip. That works too. Whatever. They're fine. We cleared out all the enemies between there and here. I missed a file. I am Mr. File. That I missed by myself. So that's the big thing with Pikmin 3. It's Pikmin 3, you have three captains, you can throw them to places. Now these are fun. As I recall, Rock Pikmin can't be crushed. So, Red Pikmin are immune to fire damage, Rock Pikmin are immune to crush damage, 
Uh, blue are immune to water damage, and yellow are immune to electric damage. I don't think purple are immune to anything. If so, they're probably immune to crush damage. And... Um, white are immune to poison, and... Uh, I don't think the certain other type whose exact name I don't remember. I don't think those are... Oh, yeah, there's the... Uh, th there was the bulb orb thingy that we didn't deal with. Whoops. <laughs> well, it hasn't killed any of our min so far, as, as far as I can tell, so... Since we're here, I'm assuming that brings us out... Oh, nope, that's not a complete bridge. Well, the Pikmin seem to be getting back without agitating the thing, so... That's fine. Anyways, I think red Pikmin have greater attack power as well. Ooh, a dandelion. Ooh, berry! Grab it, friends, and take it to a place. Ah, uh, here are the rest of the fragments to that bridge. So technically, it would just be quicker if I... if I smashed that... If I waited until completing the bridge before sending Pikmin to go to places and deliver stuff. And pardon me, still locking onto something that's no longer there. But yeah, I think my priorities at this point should be confirming the safety of my other Pikmin and, like, defeating that Bulb Orb. Wait, no, I already... What am I thinking? I already did defeat it! I bomb-rushed it! My god, I'm deluded! <laughs> okay, where are we? I think we're in familiar territory. We're back at the start. Is there anything else that I can do on this particular day? I'm looking at the map, and I'm seeing not much besides this path over here, so we may as well just open as much as we can. Open! In, in the words of Cursed Mountain. Because that was that was a game that I done did play once. Now, what what else is there? Okay, there is still some Pikmin I counted for. They're probably taking the leisurely way around. Now, what could this be? The radar's picking something up. I swear this is just Simon's Darunia voice at this point. There's a signal coming from here. Maybe it's a new type of food. Oh. I would record the gamepad, but I cannot. Let's go and look right away. I mean, it's only early evening. Oh good, a fiery blowhog in the distance there. Oh yeah, you, you could tell the other captains to go to places. How odd to find such a memo. Such a thing. Come to think of it, the radar did have a go here feature. Maybe I should give it a try later on. Mmm. E. Okay, so if I leave this lot, sort of, if I disband them here, then I'm going to take all the reds because, uh, apart from you, you're not red. Because the reds are immune to fire damage, and the fiery blowhogs deal fire damage, perhaps predictably. Kill it. I mean, I'm not immune to fire damage, but these guys are, so they can just sort of do whatever, and not even suffer for it. Another one. I should be careful, because I know in one Pikmin game, I think it's two, electric damage is instant death. So... Actually, hold on. I don't know if there's time. But I would kind of like to get those corpses for the rock Pikmin. Even though the, the, the rock onion is, like, quite a way away. But theoretically, I would like to have more rock Pikmin. Because, uh... They're kind of similar to Purple Pikmin from Pikmin 2, but Purple Pikmin are rarer because y you can only get them with those conversions, like Candy Pop Buds, that's what they're called. You can only turn other Pikmin into purples, you can't just grow them naturally. Two files next to each other, a bonus! Wow, it's almost like I already knew this. Also, Clovers, yum yum, or cloves, I don't remember what they're called, I used to know plants. But yeah, so in my mind, and in my car, we can't rewind, we've come too far. A uh, video killed the radio star. Um, rock Pikmin are rarer than they actually are just in my mind. So... I'm just thinking, if I if I put a load of rocks on that, then they'll definitely take it back to the rock ship. It will soon be sundown. According to what Alf said, stray Pikmin face attacks from nocturnal predators. Oh no! Thanks for telling me, this is important. It looks like the Pikmin in the area of the nest thing we call an onion can get back on their own, though. Good to know, though. Yellow snow dough. Yes, it's good to see what that exact perimeter is, because in previous games it wasn't clear. I'd better crawl back any Pikmin who aren't in my squad. Squaw! But yeah, we still have two boops left on, on the sundial thing, so... I'm not telling you to pluck, I'm telling you to literally throw, but whatever. See, it would make more sense to just leave the Pikmin in the dirt, because then they'll turn into flowers overnight. But I'm going to put all my reds back, 
and just supervise the others. So there's the four of my squad, there's 40 unaccounted for, I believe those are the ones shepherding the bush, so to speak. Yeah, there's nine there and five there, that is 14 altogether. I tried to bash the button, but the Pikmin are too far away. But that's okay. I will shepherd them and deliver them personally to their destination. Go, my picks. That, why is it that, that people doing these games tend to default to referring to them as picks? I mean, I suppose it is a logical abbreviation for Pikmin. I think, though, bearing in mind, this is my first time actually playing this game for the properly. And this is my first day under a time limit, unless you count the the treasure mission that I did just as a practice, and just popping out of existence there. And also, Pikmin that aren't on the same screen, like, Pikmin that are in screen transitions are safe from the sundown countdown, as you will have noticed in the corner of the screen there. So they were in a screen transition, so they're safe. Who are you people? Yeah, by all rights, I should be leaving them into flower, but as we'll quickly discover, in, like, <sighs> After this mission, like, once we go back up into orbit, this onion's going to merge with the red onion, and it'll all become one big one, so any Pikmin that we leave in here will just still be buried in here, and this is kind of out of our way, so there's no point coming back in here later, so I'm just gonna put them all in, and be safe, and have a fantastic time being safe, being safe. Be safe, be it every day. So, go on, get in there. So that's all the Pikmin safe and accounted for, can confirm. And so now we just have the countdown, and then we will be in orbit and we can go home and juice our fruits. Because we got, let's see, we've got the sunseed berry which we've already processed, and we've got a second one there, and also a lemon. But we don't know what a lemon is, we haven't developed a name for them yet. But I think I did everything I could do in this, like, that one could reasonably expect in one day. So I'll just have to rely on the game to, to direct me in, in future. Also, it doesn't matter where the captains are when the countdown finishes, it's only the Pikmin that need to be in these radii. Which actually is the plural of radius, funnily enough. But yes, I am the sort of player who will put all the Pikmin away. That's how cautious I am. We've all seen the clip with Chugger and the blue Pikmin. I'm not going to go down that route. I would rather not take risks unless it's very necessary. So yes, we have beaten my first day, and I think I did rather well. And you can get fucked, my friend. Even though I already killed you, except clearly there's only one per species. Don't get too used to seeing this, because there are only so many types of Pikmin. Fusion! Ha! Ain't that just charming. Wow! They merged! Well, well. So two onions can combine into one. Very interesting. I'll have to make note of this. Let's analyze the other fruit. Mm. It's a face wrinkler. And it gives us plenty of juice. Just pure lemon juice. We can survive a whole day with it. And then... A day and a half. And then, as we know, a sunsea berry gives us one whole day fruit. So we have five and a half days worth of provisions. Which is good. If you guys went on a diet, that would be more. <laughs> No, but they need to not die in the vacuum of space. I can sympathize. So we have five and a half days worth of provisions, including our blue goo. I'll ration out the food supply. Elf can make do with a slightly smaller portion. You know what they say, Brittany? A moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. You know what you did. Good, we still have juice left. It's not game over just yet. Day two complete! And I don't think we lost anyone. We lost exactly none. Yay! Well then. Alf reporting once again. Back aboard, we ran some analysis on the piece of fruit we retrieved and found it suitable for copied consumption. There's got to be more where that came from. Reuniting with Brittany, finding fruit. It's still early days, but things look to be taking a turn for the better. Signed, Alf. And that was day two, so I've been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons in the next episode, day three. Woo!